Now I will show how to display a LabVIEW VI in full screen in a few steps. First of all, I will add a, a dummy functionality to this VI in order for it to be executed. Here, this is enough. This VI now runs and just have a button here. I'll move this top button maybe here. Well, to, to make this VI uh, displaying full screen, we need to go to File, VI Properties, Window Appearance, custom, Customize it, and don't show the window title bar, don't show the menu. You, you can choose if you want the scroll bars to be displayed. To be displayed. Uh, don't allow users to close to resize the window. So now we run this VI and you see we still see those buttons. We don't want to see them. So we need to don't don't show the toolbar. I think that will be enough. Uh -huh, that was enough. So you see that we don't see the VI borders anymore. We are just uh, seeing the front panel, uh, the front panel without the window, without the controls, without anything. So now we need it to. Uh, match the size of the screen. To do that we must open a property node. I will do a left click here over property display all monitors. You don't realize this at first but Maybe the VI will be displayed in a in in a computer with, that have many monitors. For example, I have two. I have disabled one now for this example, but I have two monitors. So this will uh, give you an array with all the available monitors that the, all the monitors that are displaying something. So we need to create another property node, but an application property, but we will do now a right click here, no, no left click, right click, and select the class. It will not be the application anymore, but the VI. So now we do a left click over the property, and we will uh, look for monitor monitor so we are looking for uh, the monitor number at which the front panel window is so those numbers will be between one and the number of of monitors but this array will be between zero and the number of monitors uh, minus one so we want to increment this number in order to index this array. We will index the array of monitors with the current monitor number. So we will get the monitor that in which the front panel is right now. We will 
to get the bounds property, we want to know its bound. So we create another property node to the again right click, select class, VI, and we go to the front panel window. panel bounds. So we change it to right and we set the panel bounds the same as the monitor bounds. So the, the front panel will will fill all the screen. So now we execute and as you see the VI has filled all the screen I can I can click uh, anywhere where the button this start button was it's not it doesn't it doesn't do anything so I have a lab view vi being displayed in full screen